Hello YouTube, I am Yudi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're still a baby YouTube channel. We only have seven subscribers, but I'm glad that you're here with us so you can decide if you want to join the gang because when we hit 100 subscribers, I am doing an Amazon gift card giveaway. Now, I saw this video. It's titled The Story Behind Gus's Spice Curls Realization. And um, I didn't realize there were still people who didn't know what was going on at that point. So um, I want to play this video and also add additional commentary. I am so loud. Hold on. Okay. I don't think I'm going to edit this video. <laughs> I think this is like small. This is this video should not be very long, right? All right. So the the channel that we're looking at is Show Spotter. Um, I support channels the way I want to be supported. Hey, I don't know. They say what goes around comes around. But um, let's start to dive into what was going through Gus's mind, and I'll tell you why I think he went outside. Gustavo Fring is arguably the smartest person in the Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul universe. And in this... Arguably. I think he was. I think he is the smartest person until he meets Walter White. Latest episode, the chicken man comes to a potentially life-saving realization because of spice curls of all things. In today's video, we're talking about the story behind Gus's spice curls realization, as well as some more Better Call Saul related news. No, we're going to skip that news, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so let's get into it. This they just added more Better Call Saul news so that their video can be nine over nine minutes. And that's like... Your video has to be over nine minutes to get monetized or something like that. Anyway, just some YouTube tea for you. Story behind Gus's Spice Curls realization. The Los Palos Hermanos owner and New Mexico's biggest drug lord. And yeah, I, I know nobody comments on my videos anyway, but um, please don't comment about how she mispronounces pollos. Like, I hear it. We hear it. Like, yeah, she's going to pronounce it like palos the whole time. We know it's Los Pollos Hermanos. Gustavo Fring is known for keeping his feelings hidden. You'll rarely see him reacting to anything emotionally. So the few moments where he does show his emotions become all the more impactful. One such intense moment comes during the fifth episode of Better Call Saul's sixth season titled Black and Blue. Lalo Salamanca is nowhere to be found. He has pretty much successfully faked his death. But here's the thing. Gus has incredible instincts. He knows Lalo is alive. So he knows Lalo is alive because of his interaction with Hector Salamanca. And if you think Hector was not making that face at Gus intentionally, I think you're wrong. And that is how Gus knows Lalo is still alive. And he has been fretting about it, like uncharacteristically stressed about it. While the rest of the world mourns the smartest Salamanca, Gus is growing increasingly restless because he's waiting for Lalo to come for him. About nine minutes into this latest episode, we see Gus working at one of the branches of his restaurant chain. He seems pretty tense and is probably wondering how Lalo is planning his revenge. To distract himself, he decides to go to the counter and help one of his customers order some mouth-watering fried chicken. Side note, we really wish Los Palos Hermanos was real because the chicken looks delicious it really does and in this scene the man who comes to the counter he's rubbing his hands like this he's like can i have uh can i get a large bucket <laughs> extra large bucket of that chicken i love chicken i just had some chicken just now i love chicken i wish those boys around us was real too the customer orders a 12-piece bucket, and Gus politely suggests one of their newest menu items, the signature Spice Curls. But soon, the smile on his face disappears. He looks off into the distance, clearly coming to a very important realization. So the question is, what was it about these Spice Curls that unnerved our favorite drug lord so much? Did he perhaps realize that he was contributing to America's diabetes problem? Well, no. not exactly. <laughs> so what did Gus realize 
in that moment. First, some background. Gus visited Houston in the seventh episode of the fifth season to meet with Magical Electromotive, the German corporation responsible for backing both his legal and illegal business ventures. During that mm -hmm. visit, Gus introduces the partners of the company to the restaurant's new menu item, the signature Spice Curls. See where Spice we're going with this? Curls. When Gus suggests the item to that customer, he remembers his association with the company. Then, being the genius that he is, he realizes that Lalo Salamanca's next move must be to pay a certain someone in Germany a visit. And of course, Gus was spot on as always. Right, so I hope y'all caught that. Madrigal is a German company. So when he said spice curls, it triggered the memory of uh, presenting it to his German colleagues. And he remembered that Lalo is probably in Germany. This whole time, he's been fretting, just trying to think, where is Lalo? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Where is he? Why hasn't he attacked yet? And he realized he's probably in Germany. Ways. Is Gustavo Fring ever wrong? Probably not. And, and how we know this is we know Gus knows Lalo knows about Werner Wiegler, who is from Germany, right? That is how he knows Lala would know to go to Germany. And don't have to keep connecting the dots. So well, he knows Lala would go to Germany so that he can find information about why Werner was coming to work with Gus. And he will probably thereby get details of the lab. In the last 12 or so minutes of the episode, we see that Lalo's in Germany to prove that Gus has been acting against the cartel's interests. He doesn't visit Madrigal Electromotive, though. Instead, he follows his instincts and finds the late Werner Ziegler's widow. In case you don't remember, Werner was the German engineer hired by Gus to design his meth super lab. He doesn't want the cartel to know about this lab because if it becomes operational, he'll effectively become bigger than anyone else in New Mexico. Yes, this is the the very same super lab that Walter White destroys after finally killing Gus in Breaking Bad. Back in season four, when Lalo found out that Gus was up to something and that Werner was involved, Gus ordered Mike to kill the brilliant engineer to cover his tracks. Despite this, Lalo knows about Werner and his wife Margarita and he follows that lead in this episode to investigate the chicken man. He seeks to find out what Gus was planning and inform the cartel so that they can neutralize the owner of Lalo. Paulo Sormanos. Unfortunately for him, there's only one way this can end. So, how will Lalo versus Gus end? Lalo. So, that is the big question. Also, people were asking about why did he run outside? Why did Gus run outside when he made the realization? I believe, well, at first, I thought it was just for dramatic effect. It was just, you know, to really solidify that Gus has made a realization. But now that I think about it, I think he just ran outside so he can go home. Like, I think he just was like, screw it. Screw work. I've had this realization. I need to, ch I need to be in, I need to go home. I need to go home to really think about it and really think it through. So I, they show him running outside <laughs> for dramatic effect, but he's, he's going to just go in his car. <laughs> like, you know, he parks in that parking lot. He's just going to go in his car and drive home. Um, and scrub, 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 scrub the bathroom while he's chewing and thinking. And then when, by the time Mike comes, I'm assuming you've seen the episode, by the time Mike comes, he's thought about it. And Mike says something that completely seals his mind. And he's like, got it. Take me to the lab. To the lab! Salamanca is easily one of the most charming and beloved characters of the show, which is quite remarkable considering he was introduced to us pretty recently. He's extremely smart, calculated, and is a formidable opponent for Gustavo Fring. So mm -hmm. who will win the chess war between these two equally Obviously brilliant Gus men? Does. Well, here's where we run into Better Call Saul. <sighs> but I can't put anything past these show creators. 
I'm pulling a Joe Rogan. It is entirely possible that somehow Lalo survives. Somehow. But I don't know how. We assume Gus wins, but with these showrunners, you never know. Saul's prequel problem. We know from Breaking Bad that Lalo's doomed to fail because Gus is still pretty much the top dog by the time Walter White gets pulled into this dangerous world. The fun of this storyline thus lies in wondering and watching exactly how Gus triumphs over our favorite Salamanca. As for mm -hmm. us, we're pretty sad that Lalo isn't going to come out of this fight alive. He lights up every single scene he's a part of and we'd love to see him as much as we can. And that's all about the story behind Gus's Spice Curls realization. Now, right, so I hope that helped clear some things up for people because I was like reading the comments and people were like, oh my gosh, I didn't get that. I didn't understand that. So I know I'm still a small channel. Um, 10 people total will see this, but on the off chance, one of you 10 didn't understand the Spice Curls thing. Now you get it. Now you got it. So if you appreciated this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that other people can see the video. Um, if you want to help me grow my channel, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm knows that people are messing with me, people ups with me, okay? And um, if you wanna join our tribe, if you wanna join us as Happy Seven, hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you will be the first to know anytime I upload. And for right now, the only show I think I'm going to post about is Better Call Saul. I think I'm just going to stick to Better Call Saul for now. Unless somehow Severance or something starts playing again. But for now, we're Better Call Saul. So if you're addicted to Better Call Saul theories... Ring the notification bell. Thank you so much. I will see y'all later. Bye. Bye.